everybody big warm welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing really well today <laughs> i'm still full of cold if you saw my video upload on friday i mentioned i was starting to get a cold and i'm so bunged up i sound a bit weird so sorry about that yeah i was umming and ahhing about whether to even film today but it's motivation monday and it will not be missed so guys in today's video i'm gonna run through all the things that I do on my school run morning to make it as organized and efficient as possible. There's a few sort of time saving tips and hacks and things that I really wanna share with you. And it seems like the perfect time to do it because it is September. So we've only been back at school for a couple of weeks and I know we're all still like finding our feet. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. And do you know why I thought I'd actually film in the kitchen today? Because this is probably the last video I'll ever do where the kitchen looks like this. We are gonna start decorating our kitchen today, this afternoon after I film this. And there's a big sort of kitchen makeover pending. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's get started. Let me share my first time-saving tip with you. Okay, so when it comes to uniform, on a Sunday evening, I dedicate a little bit of my time on a Sunday evening to organize the uniform for the whole week ahead. It means I don't have to think about uniform again in the week because it's already Monday to Friday. So the first thing I do is get it all out, make sure I've got five jumpers, five polo shirts, five pairs of trousers. Obviously, this might be a bit different if you've got a girl, but... I have two boys. And the next thing I like to do is I like to steam it. So the reason I do this is one, because I hate ironing, two, because I'm terrible at ironing, and three, because this is just a lot quicker, I think. So just one at a time, I'll just hang up one of the polo shirts and just quickly go over it with my handheld steamer. Last time I did a video with this, lots of people were asking where this is from. This is just a Beldre one that I found in B&M. I do think I want to invest in a more expensive one. I'm yet to, to find one that really catches my eye. If you've got any recommendations for handheld steamers, let me know. So yeah, one thing at a time, I'm just gonna hang up, steam it, and then, and here's the really, really fun bit. This is when I hang it all up and organize it. I know I just said here's the really fun bit, and you either totally agree with me or think I'm a complete loser for saying that, but it's absolutely fine. So when I hang up his uniform, I'm gonna hang it, I'm gonna organize it for each day. So when I put the polo shirt on the hanger, I put the jumper over the top, so they are already both together and ready to go. And then I'm gonna hang up the trousers as well. Inside of his wardrobe, I have these very nifty little gadgets. These are an Amazon find of mine. These are editable wardrobe dividers. So they come with lots of sticky labels, but I, they did come with Monday to Friday labels, but I messed it up and ended up writing them myself. I think eventually I'm gonna use my Cricut machine to put a Monday to Friday on there in a bit of a prettier font, but you know, this does the job. I will link these wardrobe dividers in the description box in case anyone wants them for themselves. So as you can see, I've got Monday to Friday on the wardrobe dividers and I'm just going to put every day's uniform within the wardrobe dividers so I can see that he is completely set up Monday to Friday, everything's hung up, everything's steamed. All I have to do in the morning is grab it <laughs> and chuck it to him and tell him to get dressed, basically. It just saves so much time in the morning. I remember last year, I used to get everything, um, I used to get his uniform ready in the evening before. Every evening, you know, I'd find the jumper, I'd get the creases out, I'd find a polo shirt, I'd find the trousers, I'd lay them out. This has just got rid of all of that because I do it all on a Sunday. It only takes a few minutes and then the week is ready to go. Okay, this, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen this, but this is such a time-saving hack for you, especially if you have primary school children. I think we all know the pain of asking a little one to get their shoes on and then it takes them like 10 minutes to put them on and then when they finally do get them on, you realize they put them on the wrong feet. We have all been there. And also what's concerning about that is they will often have to take their shoes on and off at school and then you don't know when they put them on if they're going to be putting them on the right feet or not but guys i have the quickest easiest time saving hack to get around that problem all you have to do is get yourself a sharpie marker and draw half of a smiley face inside each of their shoes this way they cannot mix them up because they will line the shoes up to make sure that the smiley face is whole. Then if that looks correct, they know they've got their shoes the right way and they can put their feet inside. It literally takes you five seconds to do and it will save you so much time in the mornings with them putting on their shoes on the right feet. And like I said, it also means that during the school day, if they ever have to take their shoes on and off, you know that they're gonna put them on correctly. I also do this with his school daps. So if they've got daps or trainers, 
I also pop a little smiley face in there as well because <laughs> I know that I've picked him up from school before when he's got his PE kit on and he's had his daps on the wrong PE and I think, how have you just done a whole PE lesson like that? That problem won't happen anymore. Okay, this one I've been doing for a couple of years and it really honestly does save so much time and it's so simple. It's to put an additional toothbrush, toothpaste and hair stuff if you need it downstairs so if you have a downstairs toilet that is the obvious place to keep it so in my downstairs toilet i have an additional toothbrush for the boys and i have leo's hair hair gel as well because he likes to style his hair for school it just means that when you're downstairs trying to get everything ready trying to go out the door you don't have to worry about dragging everyone back upstairs to brush their teeth he can just do it down here he knows where everything is and also because i usually forget to do his hair until we're literally walking out the door <laughs> It means I can just quickly grab it out of the downstairs toilet and style his hair before we go outside. If you don't have a downstairs toilet, maybe you could get a cute little basket or something, a little a little school run caddy that you keep in your living room, which has a toothbrush, a toothbrush, a toothpaste, a hairbrush, those sorts of things, just to save you constantly running up and down the stairs. Now this one definitely saves me time and stops me being late. I'm generally never late in the morning and I'm pretty sure this is why. I tell myself that I need to leave five minutes before I actually do. So technically I could probably leave the house at like 25 minutes to nine and I would still probably get to school just fine. But I always make sure I leave the house at half past eight. It just means that I know I'm never gonna be late and it gives me that little bit of window where if there is something that goes wrong in the morning, like Cooper always decides. Cooper always decides to do a poo just before we're going out the door, like that kind of thing. And then you don't have to panic because you know that you've got that five minute window of time where if you need it, you can use it. So in my head, I always go out the door at half eight and if I am five minutes late, it doesn't matter and I don't get stressed. So the next thing I tend to do is before I go to bed the night before, I will lay out all of the bits that he needs. Obviously not the uniform because that's already all organized and ready to grab, but things like his book bag, I will make sure that that's laid out on the kitchen counter with his reading record, his reading book, everything that he needs inside. Yeah, his book bag with his reading book, his bottle, I will fill up his bottle the night before and just put it in the fridge so it's nice and cool and I don't have to think about filling it up. All those extra little bits, his coat, if it's colder, sun cream if it's hotter, whatever those extra bits are that you know you're gonna need to grab in the morning, I lay them all out on here, on the kitchen counter and I just don't have to think about it the next day, basically. So the last thing that I wanted to mention when I was thinking about like overall, what would I say is the best way to keep organized in the morning for me is to keep everything the same every day. Like I don't know about your kids, but my kids just love routine. Like Leo especially, obviously Cooper's only 18 months old, but he, he loves it too. And keeping everything the same and keeping that routine key just makes things quicker because he knows what's coming. So we generally, every school morning, do everything exactly the same. Comes down, you know, we have our milk. 15, 20 minutes later, we have our breakfast. We sit at the table, we have our breakfast. We go upstairs, we get dressed. We come down, we brush our teeth. We get our stuff ready, we go out the door. It's just every day is the same. He also writes a sentence um, up on here just before we leave as well. And he just likes things to be the same and i think the fact that he knows what's coming like i said just makes things run smoother and quicker so yeah once you have a routine that works for you i would just stick to it like glue because kids just tend to tend to thrive from that and i know from when i was a teacher um if you're new i was a teacher before i did this that yeah routine kids just need it like they just they just love it, it's very um, it's very important to them. So there you go, there are my little tips and hacks. So I'm, little tips and hacks, time-saving tips um, for an organized life on the school run. I'm sorry to sound like an old croaky man. In this video, hopefully, <coughs> hopefully by the time I vlog next week, I, um, I'll feel and sound a bit more human. But guys, wish us luck with the kitchen. We have an interesting day ahead starting this. I'm nervous to start it, because once we start, we cannot go back. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, because over the month, we're gonna be slowly changing the kitchen and it's gonna be, hopefully, it's gonna look great. Hopefully. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs>